My daughter was one pound three ounces when she was born. Because of how small she was, she had a brain bleed, and the neurosurgeon told us she had hydrocephalus. And we never heard the word before in our life. When your child is two days old and you're being told that he's going in for his first brain surgery and it's probably not the last, you have no idea what, what to expect. The doctor took one look at her and put her in the operating room that day. It was so scary, very, very scary. But when she came out, she didn't even look like herself. Her head was three centimeters smaller. Hydrocephalus in its simplest form is too much water on the brain. In the early 50s, uh, shunting or cerebrospinal fluid diversion was invented, and that's where we've been for the last 60 years. Grant was shunted, I think he was two days old. He is uh, shunt dependent. There is a shunt in his head, and he'll need it forever. He's endured 12 shunt revisions in 10 years. A shunt is not a cure. You live in fear with this condition, unfortunately. The Hydrocephalus Association's support is critical to the mission of eventually finding a cure. HA has developed three networks, the HCRN, the AHCRN, and HANS. And the reason why this is so important is because it gives us all of the tools necessary to move those basic science discoveries into the clinic, but also to have the communication between the three networks. And it is a way to accelerate that pathway to bring new therapies to patients faster. What HA has done is create a ecosystem for hydrocephalus investigators. We now have a pipeline from the basic science lab to the clinical lab, both in children and in adults, and back to the basic science lab. There's so much we don't understand about shunting. There's so much we don't understand about pathophysiology of hydrocephalus. Everybody wants to do work that's clinically relevant to bring those benchtop experiments to clinical trials. As a single independent lab, you can't solve all the problems by yourself. Now you have other investigators you can work together with. That's the great advantage. We are now seeing the results of all of the work, and we have new collaborations that are forming. We have grantees that have gone on to receive major grants from both NIH and the Department of Defense. We see the path to a cure. We see the path to new preventions. We see the path to improved treatment options for people that currently have hydrocephalus. Our goal is injury prevention, and our goal is hydrocephalus cure. That should be a medical therapy and not a surgical one. We need better research, we need better shunts, we need better treatments for hydrocephalus so that these kids can lead normal lives. We know that with time, with money and resources, we will see an advancement in technologies that really benefits those that are affected. And yes, hopefully someday we will see a cure. I would love my daughter to be able to live the rest of her life without wondering when that ticking time bomb is going to go off again. I want her to be an independent and happy, successful member of society. I want a cure. <laughs>